Hey everybody, this is Miss Hildreth and I'm going to do a couple quick videos for you. Um, the first one is going to be races and we talked about that today in class. Let me move myself out of the way. I don't know why I got dark. Okay, so um, if you click on this, you're going to see the letters and I kind of talked about this today, but R, you're going to restate the question by turning it into a statement. So if I said to you, like in our journal prompt um, for this week, what did you do over Labor Day weekend? You would restate it as I did, I went to the grocery store, hung out with my grandma and spent time at home or whatever you did. Or you could say, here are some things I did over Labor Day weekend. Okay, so you're taking that question, making it into a statement. Then the A, you answer every part of the question in a complete sentence, just a friendly reminder. Okay, so, um, and then C and E are like our body of our paragraphs. You're going to cite evidence from the text to support your answer. So that citing evidence is a quote. It's a direct word um, from the uh, actual text that you're reading. Okay, now. To go along with that, you have to explain how that evidence supports this answer or your T, right? Okay, or your R, right? Or your topic sentence, it would be your R. Sorry about that. I've got all these letters of the alphabet running through my head. Okay, so this, the C and the E would be the body of the paragraph. So you're gonna have a, probably about three more sentences. And then the last sentence is you're gonna have an S and you're gonna wrap up all of your ideas and conclude the paragraph. So when you get finished with a, an answer to an extended response, if you use races and do it correctly, then you would have at least a minimum of five sentences. So there's a quick overview. I'm just gonna drop this in the, um, in the material where it says racist poster so that if you don't remember or you need a quick reminder, the video will be there. So if you have any questions, please email me or ask me in class. If not, have a wonderful day.